Hello, Kube crew, and welcome to your wind down. Today, we are enjoying a beautiful Barolo from the Piedmont region of Italy. More specifically, this wine is from the Figle Luigi Odero uh, Vineyard, and they are, again, out of Piedmont. This is a leader in, in the Barolo region, growing Sangiovese and Nebbiolo grape varietals. This particular vineyard has been making wine since the 19th century, so this is a great gem. This is a wine that has been passed down from generation to generation, and they are very well known for sticking to the traditional methods of making wine, even in 2002. And so what they were doing in the 19th century, they've updated it, obviously, to reflect what we are looking for in today's society in the wine world, but they are still very, very focused on fermenting their grapes within oak barrels, French oak to be exact. That oak integration allows different flavors to be experienced with this particular wine or all of their wines. So I'm excited for you to experience this Barola today. So let's get into the color. So it's brighter, has like a little bright uh, garnet red on it. So it's going to have some really cool notes as in my opinion. And it's gonna be a, a bit of a mouthfeel in my opinion as well because it's not super opaque, it's very bright. Let's get into the cup uh, the aroma. So it has like sweet spice in there. Also a little bit of licorice note. So that's really exciting. Definitely fruit forward. So we're expecting some uh, strong apparent fruit on the entry on the palate. Um, there's some type of earthiness in there as well. I can't really put my finger on it, but yeah, definitely some earthiness or some barnyard, but it's, it smells really, really interesting. Let's see how it performs on the palate. Dry, yet soft. You know, it has a velvet effect to it, so really, really interesting. It's it's bold with the tannin, it's dry with the tannin, but it still has that velvet expression and that velvet smooth feeling on the palate. Um, this is giving me a lot of violet, like uh, floral notes. Really, really beautiful, heavily perfumed, and it's really got that bold cherry there like a blood orange, that licorice. Uh, it's, you can taste the oak, the oak integration with the spices. Really, really great. Uh, finally, it integrated tannin on this as well. So this is for my dry red lovers, my tannin lovers. This is gonna be something that you're really, really going to enjoy. And I'm just thinking about like the food options here. This is would definitely go with like bison or some type of game meat, something like really, really austere and interesting. And aged cheddar. Any type of uh, sharp cheddar would do for this, or uh, like a yellow cheese would be very, very good with this particular Barolo. This is really, really interesting. You're getting like strawberry and rose petal, but again, it's it's soft and it's 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 really an interesting wine. So I'm excited to hear what you guys think about it. So make sure that you uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments or just reach out. This is a great crowd pleaser. And I'm sorry, that's a good conversation starter. So cheers to the Barolo lovers out there and I hope you enjoy this one. Take care, cheers.